this video, I'm going to talk about sums and products of functions. Firstly, let's look at the sums of functions. Let's first look at an example. Sketch y equals to fx plus gx with fx equals to x cubed plus 1 and gx equals to x squared minus 2x minus 3. In order to sketch that, we need to add the functions together algebraically. In this case, y equals to x cubed plus 1 plus x squared minus 2x minus 3. If we simplify that, that would be y equals to x cubed plus x squared minus 2x minus 2. Okay, now we need to find the x-intercept. If we want to find the x-intercept, then y equals to 0. So 0 equals to x cubed plus x squared minus 2x minus 2 equals to x squared times x plus 1 minus 2x plus 1 equals to x plus 1 times x squared minus 2. So x equals to negative 1 or x squared equals to 2. So x equals to negative 1 or x equals to positive negative square root 2. Okay, now we need to find the y-intercept, so we can sub 0 to x. In this case, y equals to 0 plus 0 minus 0 minus 2. So the y-intercept would be negative 2. Since x cubed plus x squared minus 2x minus 2 is a cubic function with an odd degree and a positive leading coefficient, so the graph would start from here to there. So the graph will look like this. Okay, now let me show you the product case. Sketch y equals to fx times gx, where fx equals to x minus 2 and gx equals to x squared plus 2x plus 4. We can also time it algebraically. So x minus 2 times x squared plus 2x plus 4 equals to x cubed minus 8. So the x-intercept would be 0 equals to x cubed minus 8. So the x-intercept would be 2. And the y-intercept would of course be negative 8. Because of the fact that the cubic function is just x cubed minus 8. So the point of inflection would be at negative 8, which is the y-intercept. So the graph looks something like this. Okay, that's all for today. I'll see you in the next one.